We begin with breaking news now at five. The Elyria Police Department now investigating after a home on Willow Park Road turned into a tragic crime scene. Police there say five members of the same family were found dead inside that home earlier this morning. News 5's Emily Hamilton live on the scene now with the latest from investigators. Emily. Frank and Homa, this is truly a horrific story. There are still floats in the pool in the backyard and the porch light is still on at this home behind me and police are still looking into just what happened inside that home where they found three children under the age of 12, a married couple and the family dog all dead inside. Renetta Hubbard says she now knows what she heard Tuesday night was tragedy unfolding just next door. Well, about 520, I heard what it sounded like firecrackers going off, like pop, 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 pop. He said it sounds like gunshots. I said, I know, but I don't know where. After living in her home for 28 years, Hubbard considers herself the mother hen of Willowbrook Drive and says she's swallowed by grief and disbelief today after the death of her five neighbors and their family pet. Like I tell everybody, I'm the nosy neighbor that watches everything, but I didn't see this. If I would have known, you know, I would have called yesterday. Just after 8 this morning, police showed up to this home after a call for a well-being check. Hubbard says a co-worker of the man who owned the home showed up and asked her if she'd seen any activity outside the house this morning. Hubbard said no, and that's when the man called police. He said, I see five shell casings at the front door. I'm calling the cops and then our neighborhood was swarmed with cops. Elyria police and the Lorain County Coroner's Office were investigating for hours before clearing the scene around three this afternoon. They went into the house and then they started putting crime scene tape on it and they made us stand across the street. Investigators are not releasing the names of those family members just yet, but I was told by Elyria police just a little while ago that there is no threat to public safety and no suspect still at large. Reporting live in Elyria, Emily Hamilton, News 5.